Hello friends, I am Tushar Natal. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to read about Fibonacci series to print Fibonacci series. First of all, what is Fibonacci series? Fibonacci series are the numbers in which each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers. For example, 0, 1, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, 8 plus 5, 13. Dot, 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 dot. So, the first number and second number becomes the third number. Again, second number becomes the first number and third number becomes second number. And first and second becomes third. In this way, it continues up to the end term. This is known as Fibonacci series. So, how to write C program in Fibonacci series? Let's start the program with the header file. Has include stdio.h has include conio con io dot h void main always the program start with main function after that we have to declare some variables before declaring that variables we have to ask the users how many terms the user want to print so whatever we used in the program that we declare later so right here print f enter the enter the number enter the number how many numbers the user want to enter let's enter the number and read the number using scan f and percent d m percent n this n is not recognized because we have to declare the variable so here int n and then after we have to write first number 0 and 1 so I have to declare a is equal to 0, b is equal to 1, and then after next, the variable c. After that, we have to use the loop, that's why we have to declare i2. And after asking this, we have to print two numbers, 0 and 1. So, print f, percent d, percent d, percent d slash t percent d slash t and then after we have to print a comma b so first in first we print a and b 0 and 1 after that we have to use the loop for i is equal to 0 i less than we have to remember here i less than we have to print up to the end term and we have already printed two numbers a and b that's why we have to print up to n minus 2 after that i plus plus inside it inside it we have to store c is equal to a plus b and we can print here also and down also print f print f percent d slash d and then after c print f percent d slash d that is for tab and c let's store a is equal to b b is equal to c store the variable of c in b b variable is a after that Close this loop. After closing this loop, write get cs function to all the result and close the main function. When you compile 
and run the program. Then after A print first, A and B, the value of A is 0 and B is 1. After that, it enters in loop and I is equal to 0. It is true. I less than N minus 2. Suppose that when you compile it in the output, it asks you how many numbers you want to print. Enter the number. Enter the number that you want to print and then after if you enter 8 number. Suppose 8 number, then after first it print 0, 1, A and B, A is 0, B is 1. And then after it comes in loop, I is equal to 0. 0 is less than n minus 2 means 8 minus 2 is 6. It is true. 0 is less than 6. And then after it enters here, C is equal to A plus B. A in the place of A, there is 0. In the place of B, there is 1. 1 plus 0, that is stored in C. C is, becomes 1. Then after it prints C, here it becomes 1. It print 1. After that, A is equal to B. The value of B is stored in A. Means that now A becomes B. Store of B 1 here. And B is equal to C. Means the value of C is stored in B. That's why B also becomes 1. B also become 1. And then after again it continue. I plus plus increase by 1. And I is equal to 1. 1 less than N minus 2 means 6. That is true. And then after C is equal to A plus B. After that the value of A is 1. B is 1. So A plus 1. Plus 1 plus 1 is 2. The value of C is 2. And print F C. Now it prints 2 here. After that, A is equal to B. The value of B is transferred to A, that is 1. And B is equal to C. C, the value of C assigned to B, that means that now B is equal to 2. And then after, it increases the value by 1, and it becomes 2. 2 less than is equal to N minus 2 means 6, it is true. 6, it is true. And then after, it enters here, C is equal to A plus B. A plus B, now it becomes 3. 3 is printed here. Now, 3 is printed. And then after, A is equal to B. Now, the value of B is 2. That's why it assigned to A. And B is equal to C. B is equal to C. The value of C assigned to B. That's why it becomes 3. Now, increase by 1. 2 less than is equal to, this is true. That's why uh, 3 less than is equal to 6, it is true. That's why C is equal to A plus B. A plus B, 5. And it prints here 5. It prints here 5. And then after A is equal to B, now the value of B assigned to A, 3. And value of C assigned to B, that 5. 5 plus 3, again increase by 1. And then after it prints here, A. In this way, it continue till the condition is satisfied. After that, we get 0 plus 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 3, 8, here 8, 8 plus 5, 13, up to here. If you enter 8 numbers, you will get up to 13. If you enter here 10 number, when you compile and run the and it does the 10 number, then it prints 13 plus 8, 21, 20 plus, 21 plus 13, 34 after here. So, in this way, we can print the 5NSE series. I think you easily understand how the flow of program is in 5NSE series. Thanks for watching the video. Do not forget to subscribe the channel. Hoping you will subscribe and share among the friends and hoping to get comment whether you have understand or not. Thank you.